Hey y'all, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here to do a crafty little monogram sign that I just thought of this morning <laughs> and posted, but I wanted to get on here and do something crafty for you guys before I left on my trip. We've got a big motorcycle trip planned for this weekend. We're super excited. We're riding up to Wisconsin. I'm very excited about that. I've never been. Um, so doing all the things to prepare for the trip and get ready and get caught up. But I've had this sign actually. I've had all, all of this stuff is stuff that I had in my craft closet. And uh, I had this little sign for a while now and I wanted to redo it. It's a Dollar General sign. It's cute just like it is, right? But I'm like, eh. I just really liked the frame and it's got the um, twine on it already. I got it from the Dollar General. It was $4. So I wanted, I knew I could go ahead and grab that, snag that up, and I would redo it at some point, but I just didn't know what. And so um, in my art studio, I have a blank wall. You can't really see it. I would flip the camera, but then you'd see all my mess. So I have a blank wall and I have several little art pieces, some that have been gifted to me, some that I made that I wanted to kind of make a little gallery uh, art section and I haven't just haven't gotten to it yet. They're all kind of stacked up at the bottom on the floor, <laughs> stacked against the wall. And so I thought, you know what, this piece, that's what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna make a monogram. I have an E here. It's an old, it came off of a, church sign that somebody gave me. They gave me the wood and they just brought it as is. So it still had all the letters attached. And I'm like, you know what? I, and I have a box of letters in my garage uh, that I saved because I thought, man, I could reuse those for monograms or whatnot. So we're going to redo this E, which, hello, it could be for East or Ellie Grace's Attic. So we're going to use that and we're going to use this beautiful fabric which you can't see because I'm sitting on it, but I bought this fabric to um, recover this chair that I'm sitting in. Isn't it beautiful with the flowers? And it's got pink, which is my favorite color. It's got various shades of pink, and uh, it's got some grays in there. It matches my gray curtains. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna use some burlap. I've got Maj Paj, I've got some paint out here and different things that we're gonna use. But uh, let me just introduce myself a little bit more for those of you who may be watching live or maybe catch it on the replay that don't know me. My name is Lois and I am the face behind Ellie Grace's Attic, which is a online creative company where you will find all things crafty, DIY, um, house, household hacks, life hacks, You'll find a, a daily dose of Jesus. You'll get some encouragement on our page and uh, just all the things. So I am here to do something crafty with you today and hopefully inspire you to take some old things that you have around the house and make it into something beautiful with just a little love. So we're gonna get started real quick. Um, I think I had posted on my page this was gonna be a lunchtime live. Well, that didn't happen. It's summertime, the little's at home all the things going on. I missed my lunchtime window, but that's okay, because here I am. So I'm gonna start off, this is some antique white, uh, kind of a cream colored paint, which kind of matches or blends with the material um, that I have, the background. So I laid the material out earlier on top of this, and you can still see the black through it, so I'm just gonna put a layer of this on there to hopefully kind of uh, minimize the black on here. Um, <clears throat> don't be afraid. If you see stuff in the store, like I really liked the frame. I'm just squirting the paint right on here and I'm gonna brush it. Um, it was only $4. So I was like, you know what? Let me snag that up. And uh, cause I know I'll be able to do something with it. I mean, maybe at some point I would be like, oh, that black and white matches with the theme of this room. I'm gonna use it like it is kind of a deal. Or maybe like today, I just kind of get a whimsy. And I'm like, I'm gonna make this out of it. So you just never know. For $4, 
you can't really go wrong. So I'm just brushing, and it's okay, it doesn't have to be super pretty because we're covering this um, with the material is where we're headed. So don't worry if it's not, your paint strokes aren't perfectly beautiful or any of the things, that's totally okay. I'm just going for coverage. If you're watching live, pop in the comments, say hey, let me know what you're uh, doing today, where you're watching from. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I always love hearing from you guys. Do you have any big projects planned for this summer? Whether they're crafty, maybe you have some backyard projects. I know I have a big list of backyard projects to my husband's chagrin. He doesn't always like my list, but that's what I do while he's at work. I dream up projects. You know how one thing leads to another. You do something or maybe you move something and then you think, oh, well, I need this or wouldn't this be cool? <laughs> that's how that works. Didn't you know? Oops, got a little bit on the side and that's okay too because our, um, all of our focus is going to be on what we're about to put down on it. All right, I'm going to just make a little bit of noise right now. This is acrylic paint, so it dries really, really fast. But I'm going to help it along just a little bit with my handy dandy blow dryer. But first, I got to make sure the blow dryer is plugged in. So hold that thought. Unplug something really quick. And then plug that bad boy in. Working. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to make a little bit of noise. Bear with me. We're going to dry this really quick. dry so now we're going to get a little bit more of this cream colored paint I'm using you can use any acrylic paint this uh, particular brand is Anita's acrylic and it is the antique white uh, I got this at Hobby Lobby again though I just wanted a um, I'm trying to cover those black stripes just kind of and I'm not going, it doesn't have to be super full coverage. It doesn't have to be perfect because, again, we're covering this up. I'm just trying to minimize so that black's not popping through the um, material that we're about to put down. And uh, I love using fabrics, textiles, any kind of textiles in my projects. They're so beautiful. They, uh, and sometimes I think we, when we think arts and crafts, we think just paint, right? Or maybe you think woodworking or whatever. Um, we don't branch out into other media, but I love using different mediums, different things. Um, sticks, I've used sticks from my backyard, fabrics, all the things, right? Um, those kind of things just add such a neat texture and uh, dimension to your projects. So don't be afraid if you have an idea and you're like, oh, I don't know about that or that, that might not make sense. Do it anyway. Play with it. Nine times out of ten, you're going to love it. And if you don't, take it apart. Do something different. Try again. All right, I think I have the majority of it covered or minimized. Like I said, we weren't going for perfection, just um, kind of hiding it, so to speak. Right, get my water cup over closer to me so I can reach it. 
I'm gonna blow dry this one more time. mostly dry it's still got a little bit of drying to do but you can see that you really can't see the um the black lines so that's what we wanted so we're going to put that to the side and now we're going to take this e like i said i got a box of letters from this sign that someone donated to me um i love that people know i make signs and so they bring me all the all the wood if they find wood on the side of the road or I have another friend that gets pallets quite frequently uh, in the daily running of his business so he'll just bring me I'll come home to a stack of pallets and I'm like thank you Jesus so these uh, letters were one of those finds you could also use like I said I had this look for these things at thrift stores and flea markets and garage sales but you can also get just a simple wood letter you can get them at Hobby Lobby or um, Walmart wherever um, wood crafting supplies are sold so I am now painting this with um, this is pewter gray it's apple barrel you can get this this brand is sold at Walmart um, I have to come back over it with a sponge, but I'm doing a pretty, this gray, I love gray. It's one of my favorite neutrals. I might have to add a little bit, that would be too dark. I think I might have to add, lighten it up just a little bit for the next coat, we're gonna see. Maybe. the beauty of paint. You can paint right over it if you're not like, eh, I don't know about that color. But we're going to go ahead and paint this while the, the base, the sign is drying. I probably should have put down some wax paper or a plate, but if you can see the rest of my desk, it is an art desk, so it's pretty messy with paint. Oh my goodness. Oh, my drawer just went off. Hashtag real life. <laughs> goodness. We are just kind of getting in our summer groove around here. Um, Y'all know if you have little ones that you've stayed at home with during the summer, like you got to you got to find your groove with the schedule. I don't know. I think I might like this color. All right. It's definitely going to need a second coat, but you can tell it's already transforming. I'm going to hit it with the blow dryer just to dry up a little bit, and we'll come back with the second coat. All right, let's see that second coat. You're starting to not see all the paint um, strokes, kind of, it's not as streaky. I'm actually liking this gray. It's starting to grow on me. I was thinking I was going to lighten it up a little bit, but I like it. All right, 
I'm just going around the edges. Getting in all the little grooves. If y'all have questions, pop those in the comments. I'll try to get to them here before we close if anybody has any questions. Same, if you're watching it on the replay and you have a question about something, just pop it in the comments and I will see that and I'll get back with you. But I appreciate those who are watching, following along. We love our little Ellie Grace's community here, and I love seeing all the crafty things you do and sharing ideas with you. Sorry, I'm just making sure I got all the corners good. I'm gonna try to, eh. <laughs> I'm trying to grab it and not. Let me see where can I grab it. There's a little like there's little divots back here. I'm gonna try to grab that so I cannot get any more paint on my fingers if we can prevent it. All right, I think that pretty much is everything. I think I covered all the, got all the great, oops, cut off on one, this one little spot that won't take the paint. Okay, hold on, we're gonna hit it with the blow dryer. Maybe. Just a few little areas, very lightly. Now that it's dry, you can kind of see when it, you dry it a little bit, the places that need to be touched up, but that's mostly just a few little places. So there's our E, that's what it looks like. It still has a little bit of drying to do, but we're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna work on our frame. So now we're gonna bring our picture back. Still, you can see that you really can't see the lines underneath. And we're gonna take this material, which I love, and I'm gonna try to, isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna try to see, let me move this paint out of the way though so I don't <laughs> put my hands in it, which is highly possible. So now I'm gonna kind of decide which portion of this I want in there. I really like the middle portion, but I don't wanna cut it right down the middle. So I'm gonna move my E over here out of the way too because I'm about to get this material all over everything. So now I'm just trying to decide what piece that I want in there. I like the blues. I think I'm just gonna use this piece actually. All right, I kind of just put the corner in there. I lined up the side and I'm gonna, it's okay. I'm gonna kind of put it in there and bring it, okay. So this is what we're gonna have. This is the top that I'm holding, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do that. So all I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna trim it. I've got some handy dandy fabric scissors. I'm just gonna trim it around the frame. It's okay if it overlaps because I've got a razor we're gonna cut with after we glue it down. Okay. Ben, can you not do that? you can hear that loud chewing noise that is my puppy dog Finn who is a 90 pound 
lab rescue who loves attention and he has a deep desire like every time that I go live on a video that he feels like he needs attention so his response to me not giving him attention is to go get his bone which is this it was this big uh, bone that had peanut butter in it and he brings it to right in front of where, where I'm going live and he will chew on it and it makes that god awful noise. <laughs> Y'all, I swear, I can't make that up. That is my puppy. Now that I called him out though, he's put his head down and he's quietly ignoring me because he knows I'm talking about it. <laughs> Do y'all have puppies? <laughs> All right, now I'm just taking some Mod Podge. If you have puppies, you know they can be quite like children sometimes. I'm just gonna kind of flip this over to the side taking my Mod Podge on a sponge, which this is, all this is is glue. If you don't have Mod Podge, you can totally do this with some good old fashioned Elmer's glue. Doesn't have to be Mod Podge. I mean, Mod Podge is a little bit hardier, but um, Elmer's glue will do the job. So all I'm doing is kind of painting the surface with this Mod Podge, with the glue with the sponge brush pretty simple and just make sure you got glue everywhere that's gonna be good I'm gonna move that over to the side now I'm gonna flip my material back over and line it up kind of where I had it before to the edge it's okay if it does if it overlaps a little bit because we're gonna trim it down and just smooth it out with your fingers. Smooth it out really good and get a good, get it all the way to the edge. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Love it. Love it, love it. I'm trying, to, I had a wrinkle right there. I probably should have ironed this in hindsight, but oh well, it's gonna be good. So get it all the way, just use your fingers and crease it so you'll see I have this happening, but isn't that pretty already just like that with just some glue and material and you can't see the black lines through the material. So that's what we were going for. That's why we painted that background. So now I have a handy dandy little scrapbook tool. It's just a razor. You could use a razor knife. That's all it is, and I'm going to, hopefully this blade is as sharp as I remember it being, and I'm gonna trim this. If not, you could do this with a razor knife, you could do it with a really sharp pair of scissors. I'm just going along the um, frame, like I'm pressing into the frame and just trimming that excess material off. Um, Well, let's see, you might have to do it a couple of times. It's probably gonna not. Okay, I need you to do your job. <laughs> it's sort of working. Like I said, I might have to. Well, it's coming off, but it's not, it's not giving up the ghost easily. There it is. You really got to put some pressure to it. The corner's kind of tricky too, but it's okay if it comes up, if you've got to trim it. Um, you can always just glue it back down. And it's totally okay if it frays a little bit because that's the beauty of material. It kind of gives it a rustic look. Go down in the corner. There we go. Just got to put some good elbow grease to it. The corners are a little tricky. There we 
it goes. See, it's coming up. So it might take a, a little bit, a little elbow grease. Okay, that's mostly good. Oops. But. Keep going, keep at it, don't give up. Just really lean in with your razor or your knife, even a pocket knife would probably do this job, which in hindsight, it probably would have been much more effective than this old. I've had this little razor tool for many a year and it, I don't really scrapbook. See this piece, these are coming up a little bit either. Don't really scrapbook as much as I used to, so it hasn't been used in a while. But, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So, all right. All right, so that little piece came up pretty good. Let's get over here in the corner. It's coming along. We're almost done with this part. The rest of this is going to go pretty fast. So y'all hang tight with me. It's going to be worth it in the end because I'm having a feeling it's going to be one of my favorites. All right, I'm going to come back at it from this side to get that corner of the car, the car a little tricky. So bear with me. All right, there we go. We got it. All right, got a little bit of fraying right there, but that's okay. We got it all cut off, and this is what we have. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so this last part's going to go pretty good, or pretty fast, and we'll be done. Let me put my note. I still need that out. I was about to put my mic, but okay, uh, bear with me. It looks like we're having a little connectivity issues, of course, because I'm trying to do a live. So I have this just spare piece scrap of burlap I'm gonna take my letter and I didn't want to like cover the whole center of that pretty material with burlap but I wanted just a little I'm gonna put it up here towards the edge well I'm actually gonna come down here I wanted a little bit of uh, outline for my letter um, hold on because I was pretty sure I had a Sharpie right here. Oh, here it is, up here. I just have a Sharpie I'm gonna use, and I kinda have moved it. I'm gonna do probably about a half an inch around my letter. I need a bigger Sharpie, that one's not big enough. Again, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I'm just going, I'm taking my Sharpie, and I'm kind of outlining on the burlap, maybe a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be um, perfect. Just as long as it kind of outlines doesn't have to be the exact measurement, but try to get it even. I'm just going around. All right. Again, you can use, I'm using a Sharpie just because bifocals and this is, I'm going to be able to see it, but you can use a pen, you can probably get away with a pencil, whatever makes a mark that you can see. 
There you go. So you see, I've got that. Um, let me hold it up where you can see. I've got it just outlined around my letter about a quarter of an inch to a half inch all the way around. So now I'm gonna take my letter off. I'm gonna take my fabric scissors. I got that outlined and I'm just gonna trim and cut it out. I'm cutting directly onto the mark on my um, finish. And keep going. Just trimming as we go. We're almost done. I love my fabric scissors and I guard them with my life, y'all. If you don't have a pair of scissors that are dedicated just for fabric, you need to get you some. <laughs> All, my other scissors get used for cutting all kinds of stuff, opening package, cutting like the, pla you know, the plastic on packages, paper, all the things and it really dulls them over time so i have a dedicate my pe my kids know oh the black they do not use them for those sorts of things okay, let's get that out of the way almost done all right, I apologize. I don't know what's going on with the phone or the live. It says I'm still live, but it also keeps flashing connectivity issues. So I might be doing this for nothing. I don't know if y'all can still see me. I have no idea what if the video is even saved at this point, but we're just gonna press on and finish our project. And uh, if all you get to see is the last five minutes, I'll recap and post the finished product. Such is life in the country. I typically don't have issues, but hey. Um, you hanging in for this long <laughs> if you're still here. So we're almost on the tail. Okay, we're gonna move all that to the side. We're gonna bring our frame back that we covered we're going to put our e in the middle there like so and i think that's probably close enough we're going to get a little more of the mosh podge onto our sponge brush and i'm going to just you know i don't want to move it but Actually, I am. I'm going to turn it over and glue the back of the thing first. I can. I made a mark so I can kind of see where I was. I'm just going to kind of get some, a little bit of the glue on the back of the E to start. And then we'll add as we need to. I'll turn on my hot glue gun. I didn't do that before. So now I'm going to come back, get this back where I just had it, sort of. and we're going to kind of just smush that down. You can still see some of the markings from the Sharpie, but that's okay. So actually this is kind of porous because of the texture of the fabric, so I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on top of it. as well and it's okay if it gets on the fabric just smooth it out because Maj Paj um, does dry clear so I'm kind of just pressing it down as we go I'm gonna put a little bit under there and then press it down with my sponge 
press down with your fingers if you need to. There we go. Oops. If you have to add a little bit more, that's totally okay as well. Don't worry, it will dry clear. Get it all smushed down. All right, and move it out of the way. Are we hot yet? Now we're going to take our E, and it's going to go right on top of that burlap, just like so. Cute. Okay, but now I'm waiting on my. It'll stick to the Mod Podge, but we um. I'm waiting on the hot glue gun to fire up. Well, it is stuck. Is it going to stick? But I'm going to add some hot glue to it. But I want to show you. This is the finish. It's not totally stuck. Let me do that again and hold it. But that's what it's going to look like. I've got to put some hot glue on it. But I don't want to make you wait till the hot glue gun heats up completely. My bad that I didn't turn it on sooner, but I'll hold it. This is what it's gonna look like. Isn't that cute as a button? So simple, a totally different sign from what we started with. Just in case, I'm gonna recap in case you're just hopping on or if the internet did cut us all out. But this little sign, it came like this with the string. It was black and white. It cost me $4 at the Dollar General. I painted the, covered up all the black and white with some cream colored paint that I had because it matched the material. Then once that dried, I um, glued it, this material down with Maj Paj. I had this material on hand. Or if you don't have any material, go to Hobby Lobby, go to Walmart. You can buy like a quarter of a yard. You don't have to buy a whole yard of material. That's what I do if it's for a small part. I just did it again. I'm thinking it's the weather because it's raining here, but once you uh, have your material, I glued it down with Mosh Posh. I painted my letter, which I had on hand, but you can buy a wood cutout letter, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, anywhere they sell wood crafts. I painted it to my color of choice, laid it on some burlap, outlined it with a marker, just you know, about a quarter of an inch outside of my letter, cut it out, glued that down with Mod Podge, and now I'm about to hot glue my E on there. And that's done, a finished project. It's gonna go on my gallery wall. I'll show you guys a finished product picture as soon as I get it done. So I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Tuesday afternoon and doing something crafty. I hope this inspires you to do something crafty of your own with the things that you have on hand because home decor does not have to be expensive. So I love you guys. Have a blessed rest of your day. Mwah.